Good morning everyone. I am Marjolico Pascual Rodriguez from the Secondary Education 2 and we are the group 1. Together with my group mates, Ate Jelaina, Ira Agustin, Jenny Rose Lagran, Carla May Antonio, and Brittany Sindanum. And this is a collaboration between them that we made a summary and analysis with the three famous and salient essays of Dr. Jose Rizal entitled to the young women of Malolos, the indolence of the Filipinos, and the Philippines a century hence. Without further ado, we're going to discuss this presentation. But before that, I want everybody to ponder on this quotation. Important indeed are the duties and women must fulfill in order to relieve the country of her sufferings, but they are not beyond the strength and the character of the Filipino woman to perform. With that, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to first explain the reason why Dr. Jose Rizal wrote the infamous essay and entitled The Young Women of Malolos, understand the indolence of the Filipinos, and comprehend the significance of the Philippines a century hence in today's societal setting. Okay, let's start with the summary to the young women of Malolos. First, it says here that the rejection of the spiritual authority of the friars. When we say the friars, these are the priests during the time. And I must say that not all the priests in the country at that time embodied the true spirit of Christ and the church. Most of them were corrupted by worldly desires and use worldly methods to affect change and force discipline among the people. When we say priests at time, they were very influential and they have a great impact towards the people. With that, the second is the defense of private judgment. Again, the priests, the priors, the people or the Spanish colonizer were very influential at the time that they just can impose judgment towards the people or the Filipino people. They can pinpoint kung sino yung may kasalanan, kung sino yung... Uh, may mga mas, masamang nagawa sa kapwa nila tao without even a proper judgment or without even a proper um, inquisition. Third would be qualities of Filipino mothers need to possess. When we talk about this as evidence by this portion of this letter, kasi meron dong sinulat si Rizal sa letter to the young women of Malolos na medyo mahaba kasi yung Yung letter na iyon and I we made rather a summary, a brief summary so that we can congest it in a 30 minute video and it concerns that the welfare of the Filipino children and the homes they grow in because women that time were very uh, not welcomed in different fields like education, livelihood, kung saan lang sila nababagay ay dun lang sila which is maging housewives, maging alipin and Rizal wanted to ameliorate or it change yung pananaw na iyon. And with this, the letter to the young women of Malolos, yung gusto ni Rizal noon ay lumaban sila para ipaglaban ang kanilang karapatan at ang kanilang kalayaan. With that, let's go to the fourth summary. Duties and responsibilities of Filipino mothers to their children, to their husband, and the women must have a choice. When we talk about this, that the responsibilities of the Filipino mothers is to foster or to foster positive change and collaborative change toward their children. But how can they do that if they were oppressed? And during the Spanish colonization, women are greatly oppressed, naging alalay lang sila, naging slave lang sila, at wala silang magawa kundi sundin yung mga pinapagawa sa kanila. And with that, the uh, result wanted that the Filipino women are known to be submissive, tender, and loving. Also, Rizal states that in this portion of the letter, how Filipino women ought to be as wives in order to preserve the identity of the race. And the Filipino heroes, our Filipino heroes like Rizal, Mar Marcelo H. Del Pilar, wanted to 
have a change during the time and when we talk about the uh, to the young women of Malolos it talks about the Filipino women should educate themselves aside from retaining their good racial values yes of course Filipino people are very hospitable have values but during the time medyo nati-change yung pananaw nila and ang magagandang asal na na-impose sa kanila ay unti-unting nawala because of the uh, influence of the church, influence of the people around them because the during the time napakahirap ng buhay nila at wala silang makain kaya they are sought to or sort into a very little low income. And when we talk about the responsibilities of Filipino mothers and their children, kasi yung letter na um, to the young women of Malolos is addressed to the all kinds of women, mothers, wives, unmarried, the oppressed, the blind, etc. And it expresses everything that he wishes to keep them in mind. Gusto talaga ni Rizal na ma-change yung pananaw noon. At kapag naririnig natin to, yung itong letter na ito or yung essay ni Rizal na to the young women of Malolos isa lang yung iintindihin natin which is a letter to all kinds of women mapa asaw, asawa ka man beauty ka man, single ka man may trabaho o wala and even up to this day to the young women of Malolos is very important and beneficial when you read it because it talks about the the life of the Filipinos or the life of all women in general and here we have analysis or we have statements that can prove an analysis or can be based as an analysis here we can say that Filipino women should educate themselves aside from retaining their good racial values I've said that a while ago Faith is not merely reciting prayers and wearing religious pictures. It is living the real Christian way with good morals and manners. During that time, yung mga pari daw ay, or yung mga tao, ay um, pumapasok lamang sa church para i-abide or sundin yung mga panukala nila. Pero they are not living the good morals and good manners. And Rizal wanted to change that one also. Next would be Filipino mothers should teach their children love of God, country, and fellow men. This is very applicable in today's society because mothers are very important in our social aspect, personal aspect, spiritual aspect, or in general because they want to have a good result to us not only having a good education having a good career but being a good person also filipino mothers should be glad and honor like spartan mothers to offer their sons in defense of their country because spartan mothers are very matatag matapang and gusto nila sa yun kasi they were oppressed that time and gusto nilang lumaban Filipino women should know how to protect their dignity and honor. And even up to this day, applicable to kasi lahat ng atang babae ngayon ay gustong lumaban at ipaglaban ang kanilang karapatan which is very important and beneficial sa kanila. Next would be uh, facts and trivia. Here, the to the young women of Malolos, it was originally written in Tagalog. And it was a response to the request of Marcelo H. Del Pilar. Because during that time, lumalaban na ata yung mga Filipino people. And ang gusto ni Marcelo H. Del Pilar, ma-strengthen or maging mas maganda yung foundation ng paglaban ng mga tao noon during the Spanish colonization. And to the young woman of Malolos was written on February 22, 1889 in London. And it was two years after he wrote the No Limitangkire. And to the young woman of Malolos was a seven-page essay. And I think that ends the essay to the young woman of Malolos. And let's go to the second essay of Dr. Jose Rizal, which is The Indolence of the Philippines.